Hello boys and girls. Today in English, we're going to start writing our diary entry. We're going to write the first two paragraphs of our diary entry. And then tomorrow, we're going to write the second two paragraphs of our diary entry. So, we're going to need our plan from yesterday that you made with all your super information and keywords in. So get your plan ready and we'll work together to write our diary entry. So, Miss Ford's got her paper ready with the learning objective to write a diary entry. And remember, we're writing a diary entry all about the Great Fire of London. I've got my plan here to help me. You made a plan yesterday, so you should have your plan to help you. Now, remember, we looked through a diary a couple of days ago. We looked through Little Red's diary, and then you looked at Pirate Pete's diary to remember all the key elements of a diary. So we need to include those in our diary to make it a real diary. So first of all, we're going to need a date for our diary entry. Now, I'm going to pretend it's the first day of the fire in my diary entry. So my date's going to be Saturday, the 2nd of September, 1666. So I'll put here. Now, when we write the date for a diary, it's a bit like when we write a address for a letter. We put it over to the right. So Saturday... The 2nd of September, 1666. And then here, I'm going to write Dear Diary, because that's how we write to our diary. Dear Diary. It's almost a bit like a letter, but we're actually writing to the piece of paper, which is a bit funny. So we've got our date, so we know when this diary entry is from, and dear diary. Now, remember, we're writing in chronological order, my fancy word. We're going to start today by writing about our early morning and our late morning. And then tomorrow, we'll write about our afternoon and our evening. So today, we're going to start with early morning. And I'm going to tell my diary what happened this morning. So it must be written in past tense. And to make sure it's in the right order, I start with my early morning. So, dear diary, this morning, this morning, this morning, I was, and then look back to my flam, plan, what was I doing? I was snoring in my warm, fluffy bed. Or you might be um, lying in your cuddly, soft bed. Or you might have been um, in, the, in the lounge, snuggling on the sofa. This morning, I was. Okay, two really important words here. I, because when we write a diary entry, we must write it in first person. And was shows us it's in the past tense. It's already happened. This morning I was snoring in my, first person again, my warm, comma, fluffy bed. Oh, that's one of those expanded noun phrases that we were doing last week. This morning I was snoring in my warm, fluffy bed when suddenly, oh, making it nice and exciting, when suddenly I heard screams and shouts from the street below. So using my plan, I, first person, heard, past tense because it's already happened. I'm not hearing it right now. I heard it this morning. This morning I was snoring in my warm, fluffy bed when suddenly I heard screams and shouts from the 
Oh, don't forget to cross your T, Miss Ford. The street below. Full stop. So next, I'm going to jump out of the window, uh, jump out of bed, not jump out of the window, jump out of bed and run like lightning to the window to see what's happening. So I've got a full stop now because if I carried on, that would be a really long sentence and there'd be nowhere for me to breathe when I read it. So, dear diary, this morning I was snoring in my warm, fluffy bed when suddenly I heard screams and shouts from the street below. I, first person, jumped, and we're adding our ED on the end because it's past tense. I jumped out of bed and ran to the window. Now we say ran because it's already happened. We don't say runned, we say ran. I jumped out of bed and ran to the window and then I'm going to use from my plan as fast as lightning as fast as lightning then you could add a little bit more about what you saw out of the window I could See, not I can see, I could see, because it's already happened this morning. First person, I, I could see lots of burning flames. Full stop. Now, for the second box, I'm going to late morning. So I'm actually going to leave a line to have a little bit of a break in my diary. So it breaks up my first paragraph to my second paragraph. And I'm going to late morning. And I'm going to start this with um, a different opener. I could maybe do then, next, after, to use those time words for the order of my diary. I think I'm going to put, after a while, I packed my bags as quickly as I could. So I'm leaving a line using my plan after um, after a little while after a little while i first person packed past tense packed my bags as quickly as I could. So quickly explains how I'm doing it and then packed my bags tells you what I was doing. So after a while, I packed my bags quickly. I'm just gonna fold this so I can see it a little bit easier, boys and girls. You might want to do this too. After a little while, I packed my bags as quickly as I could. Then, or using one of those fancy time words, then I, and then I'm going to have to say collected because it's in the past tense, it's already happened. I didn't collect them right now. I collected them this morning. Then I collected all of my, because it's me in the store, in the um, diary, my special Belongings. Oh, belongings. Full stop. Then I've got a key word here, terrified for how I was feeling, because that's a really key, important part of a diary. I'm going to put, I was terrified. I thought I was going to be burnt by the fire. So I, first person, I was, or I felt, past tense, I was terrified. I thought, not I think, I thought, it's already happened, I thought I was going to be burnt by, 
Oh, and then I'm going to go on to my next page by the fire. I'm going to stop there and read it through. And then tomorrow we will continue from this point and we'll move on to the afternoon and the evening. Let's read it through together to check it makes sense. And if I've got all the key elements of a diary in there. So I've got my date. I've got my dear diary. I've got my morning and my time words like after and then. I've got I all the way through because it's about me. I've got what I was doing and how I felt, where I was in my bed. And I've got my capital letters, finger spaces and full stops, full stops. And it's all in chronological order. Let's read it through. Saturday, the 2nd of September, 1666. Dear diary, this morning I was snoring in my warm, fluffy bed when suddenly I heard screams and shouts from the street below. I jumped out of bed and ran to the window as fast as lightning. Out of the window I could see lots of burning flames. After a little while, I packed my bags as quickly as I could. Then I collected all of my special belongings. I was terrified. I thought I was going to be burnt by the fire. Okay, I'm pleased with that today. You might want to add in some extra bits, where, just like we did the other week when we made some edits. So you might want to say, um, I, was going to, I thought I was going to be burnt by the blazing fire. Make it even more exciting. Or um, I ran to the rusty window or old window as fast as lightning. So you can go back and make some changes and some edits there, boys and girls. Okay, so we've used the first part of our plan today to write our diary open with our date and our, our date and our dear diary. And we've managed to write the first two paragraphs. So give it a go, boys and girls. Think about making it really exciting. Use all those key elements of a diary. Make sure it's in first person. Make sure it's in past tense because it's already happened this morning. And try and make it as exciting as it can be. Can't wait to read what you've done and we'll carry on tomorrow. Well done, everyone.